Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So since doing my Autumn Saviors video back in Autumn 2018, some of you have been asking me if I would consider making a whole series about this topic. So doing a Saviors kind of video every season and I quite liked that idea. And although I don't feel like you need to be saved through spring the same way you do when you go through the dark months of autumn and winter, I still feel like I do have some favorites that return every season, but I also have some favorites that are just my favorites right now. So call them saviors or call them favorites, whatever you like. But I quite like this idea, so I hope that you guys are on board with me on this as well. I love spring. I feel like spring is the season of the fresh start. So um, we've just gone through those very dark, cold months and now it's time for a fresh start. Yeah, so I definitely have some beauty products. I have some activities. I have some books, some music, and I also have some style items here that I want to share with you, just like in my Autumn Saviors video. So without any further ado, let's just have a look at them. So I wanted to start with a few beauty products that I particularly like right now, but I feel like these are in general suitable for the spring season. So I do have three different products here that I want to share with you. The first one is from the makeup brand Sao that I just recently did a makeup tutorial and a review on. In general, I don't really wear foundation anymore. I've actually completely skipped that step in my makeup routine. So I usually only wear a bit of concealer on a day-to-day -day basis. But sometimes you just need a little bit of extra something. Maybe it's that time of the month and you have a few more breakouts than usually, or you just want more of a glow and more of an even skin. So I've been using this foundation for a couple of weeks and whenever I apply this, I always mix it with a bit of my, just my daily moisturizer, just to give it more of a light coverage and because I feel like it's easier to work with and yeah, it just give, gives you a much more natural outcome. And then of course you could mix this with a bit of sunscreen as well, which is very suitable for this time of year as well. So another product that I wanted to mention is another product from Sao. So this is their, I think it's called Shine Up Powder. Basically it's the highlighter and it is so beautiful. I also mentioned in my review of this brand that this is one of the best highlighters I've actually ever tried. It just slides on so beautifully and it gives you such a healthy glow. You get really dewy skin and combined with that foundation mixed with a bit of moisturizer, you just get really dewy, healthy looking skin. And I'm all about that, especially for the springtime when the sun hits your face and yeah, it's just, it's just a great look. And yeah, like I also mentioned in that review of this makeup brand, one of the reasons why I was drawn to Sao and I wanted to test it out is because it's an organic makeup brand, perfume free, cruelty free. They challenge like the whole packaging so you can refill most of their palettes. And I just think that that's amazing. So the last beauty thing that I wanted to mention is actually a nail polish. Typically I'm not wearing it today. Totally should have applied it for today's video. It would have looked great with this white shirt. But yeah, that's the beauty with nail polishes. I feel like for a person like me who generally don't wear much color, um, nail polish is a great shortcut to a bit of color. This color in particular is a color that I've been loving for I think at least the last six or seven years. I especially love wearing it during spring and summer when you start to get a bit more tan and I think it looks amazing when you're wearing it both on your fingernails and on your toenails. This is such a lovely red, like almost corally kind of red and it's the color Cajun Shrimp and it's from OPI. Like I said, I've been loving this particular color for years now and I feel like this is just summer in a nail polish and it reminds me of holidays and sunshine, just good times. So let's move on to a few style items that I wanted to mention that I particularly love for the spring season. So I wanted to start off with a few pairs of sunglasses. And these are not new, you guys have seen these before, probably over on my Instagram or at some point here on my channel, but the sun will be shining way more now, so sunglasses are something that I cannot live without this time of year. So the first pair of sunglasses I wanted to mention are these Ray-Ban rounds. These are with a gold frame. So the reason why I really wanted the golden frame is because I love matching these with my jewelry. And I feel like these almost give you an extra touch of 
bling to a very basic outfit and I quite like that. So I bought these secondhand on the Danish web shop Trend Sales and I found that you can find these so many places secondhand especially. These are quite classic like many of Ray-Ban sunglasses and they're quite retro as well which is part of the reason why I really love them. Sometimes I'm not really sure if I can actually pull off these sunglasses but I love them and I feel quite cool and quite ret retro whenever I wear them. So this is definitely a spring favorite for me. So another pair of sunglasses I wanted to mention is actually my husband's sunglasses, but I tend to steal them sometimes because he doesn't have as sensitive eyes as me. Like I need to wear sunglasses even when it's not even sunny because otherwise I'll get really runny eyes and I'll have to cringe really hard. So I often take his sunglasses and these are the folding Wayfarer. So this is just a classic Wayfarer, but these these are foldable, so they fold up to this size, so they're really easy to put into your pocket. I never do that, I always put them in like a container when I bring them with me, but for my husband, I know that he loves it because he can just pop them into the, to the pocket of his shirt. So the reason why I love this particular model is because they are a bit more statement. I know that these are very classic, there's not really anything groundbreaking about this specific style of sunglasses but i just love them i feel like they're a bit more statement and kind of like those um celine sunglasses that everyone was wearing at some point i feel like this is a more classic and timeless take on that whole statement sunglasses trend kind of so really love these when i want to have more of a statement look so let's move on to a pair of shoes that you guys have seen a hundred times already so i'm not going to be rambling too much on about these shoes these are my leopard flats that I bring out every single spring summer season. Um, I just cannot wait for the temperatures to rise so that I can have bare ankles and so that I can wear flats like these. I can wear loafers. I've mentioned before that leopard print is something that I absolutely love as a very classic edgy type of print and these just add a bit of extra sass to any outfit that I'm wearing basically. So moving on to a pair of jeans that I also wanted to share with you. These are my Everlane boyfriend jeans in this like off-white color. I really love these jeans and especially throughout spring and summer. Um, I'm especially drawn to these like all white outfits at the moment where you kind of break up the whole thing with a belt or a jacket or a pair of shoes, something like that. Really digging that and it seems to be really on trend this season as well. So that's definitely something I see myself wearing a lot all throughout spring. For me personally, I like white jeans to be um, not completely skin tight and I like the fabric to be sort of um, heavy as well. And these are, they're not heavy heavy, they still have a bit of stretch, but they're definitely more um, like proper denim than many of the like white jackings you can find on the market. I also feel like an off-white color is a bit more practical because you won't see it nearly as much when they get dirty through wear. So yeah, these are definitely a great pair of white jeans. So finally, I have two jackets I want to mention and you probably already know which jackets these are, but... So the first jacket I want to mention is this lovely trench coat from Everlane. You guys have seen this a hundred times before as well. It's part of my basic wardrobe, but really I only tend to use it throughout spring, summer and autumn. During winter, it's just way too cold in Denmark. Um, but I still consider it as a great part of my basic wardrobe because I cannot live without this trench coat. I think this is part of their like classic range because they've like they've had this part of their collection for the last I think three years at least um, and I love this trench because I feel like it's the perfect trench color it has the perfect length the fabric is like proper crispy but at the same time it doesn't get super easily creased of course it creases it creases a little bit but nothing too bad and yeah it has all the right detailing and i just freaking love this trench coat especially for the spring season i actually also think that this coat is um, it's not water resistant but it's water repellent so if it's raining which it does a lot in denmark um, you won't get completely soaked which i think is always nice the final style item I wanted to share with you today is this stunning biker jacket from Marsh that I bought secondhand on West Year Collective. I mentioned this countless times already. I've been wearing it a lot already as well. And I just, I cannot wait for the weather to get so warm that I can wear this t-shirt and a pair of jeans and then 
any sort of shoe. Like that is my absolute favorite spring look. And I feel like it's so effortless. I mean, I can walk around at home being really casual with a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. And then if I have to go out somewhere, I'll just whip this one on, put on a pair of sneakers, a pair of sunglasses, and then that's it basically. So really loving this jacket. And you guys know that I'm a huge fan of anything with kind of an edgy feel. And I've been loving my black uh, biker jacket for years now. I think I've had that one for maybe seven years and I bought that one secondhand as well. So this one will be keeping that one company and I love it. This was such a great find. So let's move on to books and music that I specifically love at the moment. So there's two different Spotify playlists that I have been loving the, the past few weeks. One of them being a playlist by Spotify and the other one is one that I've created myself. So let's start with the Spotify playlist and it's the playlist called Classic Road Trip Songs. Now the reason why I freaking love this playlist is because it has a lot of like 60s, 70s tunes and I'm just all about that. I've always been very fascinated about the whole 70s era because that whole free spirit mindset is something that I've already always been very drawn to. I've always been very fascinated by. I'm actually also following an Instagram account at the moment, which has, you know, a lot of pictures of celebrities from the 70s. Oh God, what is, I think it's called 70s Daily. I'll just figure it out and I'll put it on the screen or down below, but that account is amazing as well. I mean, all those really retro images, is something that I don't know what it is, but it, it just kind of speaks to me. I think I might have been an, a hippie or something in my previous life. So moving on to the other playlist that I wanted to share with you. This is my own feel good playlist. So I've mentioned it a couple of times over on my Instagram. I've shared it with you in my stories. And I think quite a few of you are following that playlist right now. So that's great. Um, it's called Cena's feel good playlist basically. And the reason why I've called it that is because these are all of the songs that make me feel good. Like whenever I hear them on Spotify or the radio in a movie or anything, they just instantly make me feel good. So just a lot of my favorite songs. Again, many of these songs are from like the 60s and 70s, but there are also songs from the 80s, 90s, all the way up until today. So it's a bit of everything really, um, both like international artists. There's also a few Danish artists on the playlist. So everything from Journey to Bad Company, Betty Who, Frank Ocean, Madonna, Ed Sheeran, there's a bit of everything on that playlist. And I listen to it at least once daily at the moment and I keep adding new songs to it. So if you want to check it out, it is down below. So moving on to the last thing I wanted to mention in this category, and it is a book called The Art of Life Admin. I've already mentioned this both on Instagram and over on my blog and I'm more than halfway through this book right now. And you can see I've put in little post-its. I've also been outlining some things in the book because this is sort of an, a self-learning kind of book. So basically it's about how to do less, do it better and live more. And I was so drawn to that. I was like, I need that in my life. I'm a very structured person already, but I feel like we all have amounts of life admin that we need to become better at handling so that we can enjoy life a bit more. And I'm all about intentional and mindful living. So I thought that this book would be perfect for me. So like I said, I'm more than halfway through this book and I've been enjoying it so far. I feel like it's a bit heavy as well, but I'm really excited about reaching the final part of the book because that's going to be a bit more hands-on. I know that there's an appendix with a quiz and just some different things you can do like more hands-on to try and control your life admin a bit better. So this whole first part of the book is way more like interviews and other people's experiences, how they've handled life admin, both good and bad, and just a lot of um, small tips and tricks, but I feel like I need something a bit more hands-on so that I can really nail that life admin. But I'm enjoying it to the fullest and I feel like I've learned a lot already and I can highly recommend this book. I am not a huge reader, I have to admit, but I've been wanting to kind of practice the art of reading a lot more lately because I feel like whenever I do it, I just relax and it feels amazing um, just sitting in my big old armchair reading and relaxing, but I feel like it's because 
often I, I feel bad when I sit down to read because I'm like, well, there's so many other things that I could do instead of reading. So really I'm practicing the art of just letting myself sit down, reconnect with myself and not think about all the other chores that I have in my life. So moving on to the last bit of the video that I wanted to mention, which is the activities that I especially look forward to during the spring. I also recently wrote a blog post with like 10 Hygge activities that I really want to do this spring. So if you want to check out that blog post, there are plenty more ideas over on my blog and I will link it down below for you. Um, one of the things that I mentioned on that list is to spring clean our home. Um, not that we specifically need this because as you know, we did like a whole KonMari declutter on our home a couple of years ago with great success. I've made a lot of content about this. Um, I'll see if I can find everything and link it for you down below if it's something that you're considering doing yourself. I feel like the whole world is in KonMari mode at the moment because of that series on Netflix, which I still haven't watched myself and I think it's because I don't really feel the need to it. I already read her book and I've already done all of the decluttering on my own home. Now that we're moving, you might know that we're, we're actually in the middle of moving and behind the camera it all just looks like a disaster because everything is taken off the walls, there's plants everywhere, boxes, everything. Um, so that will be kind of like a spring clean in itself because we get to go through all of our stuff again. But after doing that whole KonMari thing, I think, is it three years ago now? It was, it's actually been easy so far to pack down our things and there's not lots of things that we need to declutter at all, which is just so nice. So both recommend doing like a spring clean. Um, maybe you're moving like we are, or maybe just do the KonMari declutter because that's something that's definitely changed our life for the better, I think. So another thing you could do is maybe spring clean your wardrobe. Maybe you've thought about this for a while. Maybe you really want to nail that capsule wardrobe or maybe your wardrobe itself just needs a good old spring clean. And I definitely have some content on that as well. I've already done this myself because I've already made the switch from my winter capsule to my spring capsule. So everything's looking really neat and tidy at the moment anyway. I'm gonna be packing it all away when we move very soon, but that's definitely another thing that you could do this time of year. I feel like generally, like I mentioned in the beginning, spring is kind of like the season of the fresh start. So maybe you're also in the mood to like redecorate your house, maybe move around some of the furniture you already have, visit a few flea markets to get that vintage lamp that you've always wanted to add to that corner of your house. Maybe sit down and make some visual mood boards of, you know, interiors that are inspiring you and things that you can get inspired by in your own, own home. So again, I feel like spring is the season of the fresh start and you generally have more energy. I do at least. I have more energy because it's just lighter. The days are longer as well. So, so another thing that I really want to do soon is to plan a trip to a European city very soon. We have actually talked about driving to Berlin very soon. It's easy from the part of Denmark that we live in because we're very close to the German border. And I think it's like a five or four hour drive by car to get to Berlin. And Berlin is such a lovely city and yeah, it's definitely something that I feel like doing as well. And I feel like it's amazing to do this during spring because then you can start sitting outside at the cafes. Maybe we'll bring Oscar as well so we can just sit outside, have something to eat, have a cup of coffee and just enjoy each other's company. So that's something that I really want to do very soon as well. In general, I've been thinking a lot about traveling less or at least traveling to shorter destinations because obviously traveling as much as we're doing today is not very good for the environment. So it's definitely something I've started to think way more about and just to become better at exploring what we have within a, a reasonable distance already, um, both in Denmark, but also just like across the German border, like really dig into those smaller cities that we have very nearby. We don't always have to travel far away. Finally, a thing that I really want to do this spring is to take a weekday off from work. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my job and that is kind of also not the problem, but that's definitely the challenge because I, I love it so much that it's hard for me to take a break and to leave it behind and, you know, be like, okay, now I'm off because I'm never off really. There's always something I can do, always something that I want to do. I always have a thousand ideas that I want to like put to life. 
Um, so I definitely want to schedule a weekday very soon where I can just take the whole day off from work, especially now that we're moving. Um, I feel like that could do me good. And we'll be getting back to the city very soon. So I could like take a whole day where I'm just pampering myself, grab some lunch somewhere, go for a long walk, just whatever I feel like doing on that particular day, leave my phone behind and just get reconnected with myself. So that's all of the things that I wanted to share with you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if this is something that you want me to do for every season in the future. I'd love to do it and I'm sure that it will probably change up a bit from season to season in the future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and then I will see you all in the next one, probably in a whole other setup. Who knows? Bye guys.